Good morning, happy Sabbath. That sounded so nice. I'm so glad you guys are all joining us for Sabbath school this morning. Um, we're missing Miss Crystal. Oh, I see her. Oh my, Miss Crystal. Oh, this is heavy. Let oh, me Ms. help Brittany. you. Let Thank me help you. you. Thank you oh. so much. Thank you. This is so heavy. I this to, is heavy. I, I had to carry it all the way from the car. Let's just set it down there. Watch your back. Oh man. Watch your back. Okay. Ooh. Mercy, thank you so much. You're Hi, welcome. Boys and girls, good morning. I'm so glad I'm glad I'm here, and I'm sorry that I was late. That's okay. Did you yeah. carry that thing by yourself the whole I time? I did. That's I did. So I'm you glad coming? I saw you to, a yes, bit, you coming to help me was amazing. So I want to know: um, Do we have something really fun for the crafts today? Like yes. supplies? Yes. So um, kids and parents, before we get started, we wanted to let you know um, what you're going to need for crafts today. So you're going to need some paper of any color. I have some construction paper here. Um, I have a paper with a cross. You don't need to have a printout. You can draw it right on your um, paper here. And then you need to get creative. Um, so go ahead and start looking around your house. Anything you have around your house here, I have some tissue paper. You can use regular colored paper oh, and tear cute. it up. I like those. Here I have pom-poms. You could use um, uh, cotton balls. Um, you could also get some sand or something. I have a kind of art sand, but you could get some sand from your yard, maybe some sticks or leaves. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also here have some beans, uh, um, some different colored beans. I have black beans and white beans and some pinto beans. So um, this is this is going to be fun, and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Oh, don't forget your glue. You're also uh, yes, going to need glue. Yes, that's going to be important. Yes. Yes, very good. Thank you, Miss Brittany. Well, yes. um, while before they go and hunt for their supplies, would you like to have prayer for us? Yes. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for your Sabbath day, and we thank you that we're able to come together and um, still worship you, Lord, and in, in uh, the midst of everything that's going on. I ask that you uh, please bring us uh, peace, Lord, and help us to spread your love um, to all kindred nations and tongues. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, amen. Miss Brittany, I think we have some friends joining us today. Oh, we you sure do. Them? Yes, let's take a look. Psalms 27.1 The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 46, 1 through 2. God is our protection and our strength. He always helps in time of trouble. So we will not be afraid if the earth shakes or if the mountains fall into the sea. 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7. Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Matthew 11, 28 to 30 says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Go. 2 Timothy 1 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound of mind. Wow. Oh, I that miss was all of our friends. That, that was, was really nice. Yeah, that was real special. You know, that brings us to our memory verse today. Yes. And our memory verse today says carry each other's burdens. In this, you will fulfill the law of Christ, Galatians 6, 2. And we're gonna learn later what carrying each other's burdens actually means. Mm. But for right now, Miss um, Elizabeth is going to bring us our mission story. Good morning and welcome back to another mission episode. Do you remember what division we're learning about this quarter? That's right, the Trans-European Division. And today's story takes us back to the country of Norway. In fact, it takes us back to the same island town of Sortland, where we heard about from last week's story. The island town that is up north in the Norwegian Arctic Circle. This is where six-year-old Osne 
had a powerful experience that she wants to share with you. One morning, Asne woke up and started to get ready for school. So she put on her school clothes and then she washed her face. And then she looked at her hair and remembered that she had to have it pulled back for that day's activities. And so she grabbed her comb and combed it out. And then she started looking for her pink headband with two flowers on it. She looked in the basket where she kept all her hair items and she couldn't find it there. So she opened all the cabinets and drawers in the bathroom and the headband wasn't there. Maybe it's in the clothes hamper. Open that up and look amongst the clothes and it wasn't there. Oh my, where could it be? She thought, maybe I'll go look in the living room. Perhaps I left it there. So she ran to the sofa and looked behind all the pillows. And then she got down and looked underneath the sofa to see if it was there. And the headband was nowhere to be found. Osne was very worried. She really wanted to wear that headband to school that day. In fact, it was her favorite headband. Where could it be? She ran back to the bathroom, looked one more time, and she could not find it. Worried, Asne thought about what she would do. Then she thought, I can pray. She remembered how her mother and father prayed with her every morning, noon, and evening, and how she prayed for people and for things, and that she knew that God had listened to her prayer. Why not try now? So she closed her eyes and she said, Jesus, would you please help me find my headband with two pink flowers on it? She opened her eyes and decided to go back to the couch to see if she had missed anything. She ran back to the couch and there it was, the pink headband with two flowers on it. She was so happy to have found it. She quickly put it on and finished getting ready for school. Does God care about the little things? Well, yes, he does. In fact, in our Bibles, in the book of Luke, chapter 12 and verse 7, it says that God even knows how many hairs you have on your head. He cares about the little things. And Osney knew this because her mom and dad had taught her she could pray anytime about anything, anywhere, including the little things. Osney's father is the pastor of the little church in Sortland where there are only 16 members. And part of our 13th Sabbath offering will go so they can build a new community center so that children, youth, and adults can come together and learn more about Jesus. So don't forget to set aside your offering. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. That was so nice. It was. Very yes. good mission story. Yes. Um, we also have um, some other uh, special... Oh, um, that's yeah. right. I totally forgot. So I've been asking um, for some friends to share uh, their crafts that they've been mm -hmm. doing. So I have yep. pictures from the craft from last Sabbath. Yeah, wanna, let's take a look. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so here we have Vincent and Tyson and Naomi. They oh, did their craft and then they drew their least favorite chores. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Next we have, oh, look at that. Neil and Raina. Those Good smiles. Job, guys. I love those smiles. Look at those cute little feet. This one. Look at that one. <laughs> this one really gets me. His little cheesy oh, smile. Uh, Our little Zeke. I love yes. it. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Good we miss job, you guys Zeke. so much. Thank you for sharing those uh, pictures. Uh, please continue to share your pictures so that we can continue to see all of our friends. Absolutely. Yes. Well, today, boys and girls, um, I'm going to start with the story, and Miss Brittany mm -hmm. is going to help you with your mem your craft. So do you want to do that before we get started in the yes. story? Yes, so before we get started on the story, um, I have a couple that I already did for an example. So here I cut out the cross. Oh, I lost a pom-pom. I cut the cross out and glued it on construction paper. Um, you don't have to do that. You can just draw it straight on the paper if you want. But then I took my glue... And for this one, I did pom-poms. 
So I decorated them across with pom-poms. Here on this one, I did um, <coughs> tissue paper. That one's cute. Oh, yeah. Like and then here's one that I started. Oh, that and I'm going to keep working on this one with the beans. This that is, one kind of gives it a, a wood, real woodsy look. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Well, and this is what I had at my house. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Way to use what you have. Yes. Pretty. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay, so boys and girls, while um, you and Miss Brittany are doing your craft, Miss Crystal's going to tell you the, the lesson right now, okay? Yes. Okay, so today's lesson is about a man named Simon. And Simon was traveling in to Jerusalem from the country. And so whenever he was walking in, there was a huge crowd. And they were so noisy. And he was just like kind of set back and he would press back trying to get out of their way so that he wouldn't get pushed by the crowd. But they were so big, they just kept pushing him away. And he was just kept kind of like really close to them. And so the next thing he knew, he saw kind of trying to see what was going on. And why were they being so loud? And he saw a man and he just collapsed. And he noticed he had a cross on his back and he just fell onto the ground. And then he had so much compassion. Compassion is a big word, boys and girls. And that means that he felt sad for, mm. for the man. And then he realized that that man was Jesus, Miss Brittany. Oh. And he knew of Jesus, but he didn't like, he knew of Jesus because his sons were um, followers of Jesus. Mm. So the next thing he knew, Simon felt a um, hand on him and a soldier, a Roman soldier, made him go and carry the cross for Jesus because he just couldn't do it anymore. This was not something that Simon wanted to do. But, um, but after he carried it and he realized who it was, he helped Jesus carry the cross to Calvary where Jesus was going to be crucified later on. Carrying the cross for Jesus was a blessing for Simon. Mm. And he was forever blessed and grateful from that um, experience. So you know our memory verse, boys and girls, said that you carry each other's burdens and in this you will fulfill the law of Christ. Now earlier, you saw Miss Brittany helping me with my, um, my box. Now Miss Brittany, yes, the word burden, what does the word burden mean? Because that's a, that's a pretty big word as well. When I hear the word burden, Miss Crystal, I think of like troubles. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. that's going to be like troublesome or something right. that's hard, uh, maybe difficult, difficulties. Uh, maybe somebody is feeling um, lonely, mm. um, separated, especially at, during this time. Oh, yeah. You know, we, we may feel separated and lonely. Hurt, sickness, um, lack of money or food is a burden. Um, anything that somebody may be going through, even a heavy load, just like Miss Brittany helped Miss Crystal with my box a while ago. It was so heavy and you helped me. So Miss K Miss Brittany helped me carry mm. my burden. Oh. Yeah. And so um but what if you were asked boys and girls to um clean up a mess that you didn't do? Ah. Mm. Yeah. And like Miss Brittany, can you come and please help me uh, sweep this floor up? Why? I didn't make the mess. Oh, I've heard that before. Yeah, haven't you? <laughs> so, but sometimes when we say that, but I didn't do it, mm. right? Carrying other people's burdens is doing it with unselfish mm. love. It doesn't matter if we did it or not. We are carrying their burdens because we love them. We care for them. We are showing God's love to them as he showed it to us when he died on the cross for our sins, 
that he did not do. That's right. Never did we ever hear Jesus say, but God, I didn't do mm. it. And so yeah. with Jesus being our example, we should also practice um, caring for each other um, unselfishly and sharing that unselfish love. So in saying that, what are some ways that we can help others um, and carry um, each other? Now keep in mind, there's a lot of things that people are going through out there. So we can't like solve everybody's problems, but there are some simple things that we can do to help ease their burden, um, make their day um, happier, hmm. maybe. So um, I'm going to say a couple, and then Miss Brittany, I want to see what you have, what kind of examples okay. you may have. Okay. So I have here, um, we can pray for them or yes. with them. Um, I know that right now we are not able to really be together, but maybe we can pray with them over the phone, um, send a text message, um, write a little prayer on a piece of paper and mail it to them. Um, we can smile, sing songs. What are some other ways, Miss Brittany? Um, you know what came to my head is, um, so on like trash day, we could go take, go get our neighbor's trash and pull it out oh, for them and help yeah. them out, especially yeah. if they're maybe older and have trouble. I like that idea. Yeah, lifting. that's a, that's a really good one. And um, we can also take flowers. Mm. Now I know that that taking flowers and cards or food or toys or anything like that would mean that we would have to go to them. But if we just left it at their door, yeah, and then maybe knocked or rang the doorbell and then stepped Step away from the door and says. Hi, we were thinking about you, and then nice. then leave. You yeah. know, something to really brighten their day. That is one way that we can share um, each other's burdens. Jesus gave us an example of unselfish love when he died on the cross for our sins. He did not with um, he did it without complaining. Mm, wow. It was yeah. a privilege for Simon to carry the cross for Jesus. And it is a privilege for us to carry the burdens for each other. Miss Brittany, your cross is turning out so I'm beautifully. I'm just about done with I it. I love it. Let me see. I hope no beans fall off as I hold this up. That is beautiful, oh. and the browns and blacks with oh, the uh, with the okay. yellow. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Now, didn't you have some activities that um, to share with the boys and girls that they could do on maybe Sabbath or throughout the week with their family? Yeah, that's right. So, um, one thing that we like to do on Sabbath is. Um, we like to really just share blessings. We really mm -hmm. like to stay positive and try and think about ways that God has blessed us. So sometimes we'll sit down and we'll just talk about um, how many different ways we can think of on uh, how God has been blessing us. Uh, we love to go outside and get, um, get some fresh air and go on yes. a nature walk, yeah. especially since all the rain has been happening. You know what's really fun? is to kind of peek underneath those rocks and see the little critters and oh, stuff. And You know, I've and seen a lot of little snails on my sidewalk. Yeah. Some people don't like those, but they're really cool to yeah, watch. Yeah. And it is neat to really kind of um, dig into God's creations. Mm -hmm. um, the, your, um, your Sabbath school lessons, if you guys are following along, have a lot of really good activities to do during the week that go along with the story. And um, a lot of them are really simple that you can do in your home with no prep. It could be like drawing a picture of the of this story um, or doing like a charades or something like that. That would be fun. I was yeah. thinking of charades and too yeah. with technology, you might be able to get with some of your friends. Yeah. And then like, um, I don't know, they have different different ways to do it but y'all get together where you can see each other on a screen and do charades that way oh that where would you, be cool where you're doing it with your friends that would be really but you're cool, all yeah. in your homes yeah that I would be neat that. and then with the charades do it the verse or a bible character yes. and they have to guess what yes. bible character you are yes that's yes. fun we should do that we should yeah for facetime sure. me this weekend that's right i'll do that <laughs> i will do that okay miss Brittany. well you know boys and girls it has been another wonderful week that we are blessed with. And it's 
again, a privilege for Miss Brittany and I to come to you um, this Sabbath for crafts and our Bible study. Um, and it's so wonderful to see your faces as well. So please keep the pictures coming and yes. and the sweet little notes that we have coming. And Miss Brittany, I'm going to ask that um, if you don't mind having our closing prayer. Yes. And um, until we see our friends again next week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you again for the ability for us to um, come together and to um, provide some uh, normality in this um, during this time. Lord, we ask that you please be with uh, all the first responders and all the medical yes. um, all the medical staff, people who work in hospitals, and all the essential workers, Lord, all the people who have to be out. Lord, we ask that um, you continue to bring us your Holy Spirit, Lord. Please help us um, to be calm and peaceful during this time. Help us to share your love and that calmness with others as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, we will see you next week. Love you.